Jeff, what did you think of the reaction before the game and the way your team played in leading by 15? I mean, the reaction to you. Uh, it was obviously um, exciting. Uh, it was exciting to come back here and play and um, get to experience. I haven't been back for a game. I think I told some of you guys I've been back for a game, I think, since about 2012. And, uh, been back to what last year I came back to watch camp practice and, and watch the team practice and got to see some of the new renovations and everything. And, you know, it's kind of funny just walking around and being at the hotel and seeing the different things on campus and the different buildings. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to find out, trying to tell our bus driver how to get around and, and, uh, and uh, find a way around town. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's changed a lot, but it was good to be back. Uh, as far as our play, I thought our guys played fearless. Um, you know, I remember back in my freshman year, I remember Coach Williams always used to say, I don't know if Boshi is fearless or clueless. So maybe that was kind of our thing tonight. But, uh, uh, I'm you know, kind of clueless at uh, what to expect, and uh, maybe we're fearless, I don't know. But uh, I thought our guys just played hard. They competed, and just proud of the way that uh, they didn't back down. Because you, know, you come in an environment like this, it uh, can go one or two ways. And I thought uh, uh, I was just proud of our guys. And Jim, when you walked in tonight for the first time or today or whenever, was there a memory, a memory or two that popped back that, that kind of hit you? Anything specific? Yeah, I mean, not today, but uh, um, I said there's a David, um, David Lawrence on the radio, but last night we came to practice uh, about 7.30 and walked into the field house. I felt like I was walking into Coach Williams' uh, 7.30 Sunday night practices, which everybody dreaded. Um, and, uh, you know, it uh, felt like kind of kind of had that feeling a little bit, but uh, um, it wasn't really anything that stood out. I mean, uh, you know, it... Um, it's just, it was just it was just fun to fun to be back and be received uh, received well. Coach, just kind of talk about the chemistry your guys were able to have on the court tonight early on, just how that was able to develop in the off season, given that this is a new team, <coughs> some new faces. Yeah, I mean, really didn't develop in the off season because Division Two, you can't work with your guys in the summer. We had a couple guys, uh, we had a couple guys in Pittsburgh in the summertime and just lifting and and uh, working out on their own, but. Uh, you know, we had our guys come in early in August and, and with 11 new guys and a new coaching staff, so really 16, 16 new players. Uh, um, our main focus was just trying to get our guys to know each other, um, hang out with each other, play pickup together, be in the weight room together. And, and uh, we got a bunch of great kids, really do. Uh, they enjoy being around each other. And anytime you bring in 11, 11 new guys and then you mix them with five guys that have been here before, um, it's hard, to, it's hard to do that, and you got to give a lot of credit to our players, um, just being good kids and, and making sure that uh, um, you know they're 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 coming together as a team. But um, you know this is a start, and um, you know we just we got to keep on working and, and understanding that uh, uh, there's a long ways to go. Jeff, you guys controlled that first 10, 12 minutes with that you know fearless play, like you were talking about. What what flipped it for them? What what did you see that changed? For KU? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean they started pressing us and. and uh, <clears throat> their length really bothered us and you know I don't know where their energy level was as far as their first first 10 to 12 minutes uh, but um, you know I'm sure coach coach self got on them a little bit in the in the timeouts and then uh, you know once they started pressing us they, they got back into the game pretty quickly and and uh, you know I told our guys at halftime I said hey you know the defending national champions had to press you to get back into the game to get their energy and uh, that's something that you should be proud of and uh, um, that was the main thing their length really bothered us and uh, kind of wore us down at the end especially in that second half